One on a Car Guy, oneonacarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior review on this 1983 Cadillac Buzzle Bag Cadillac. And I'm going to do you a once around just like I usually do because I like to get it in a couple different lights. And as you can see, that sun is just, I'm ahead of it tonight, I guess you'd say. I mean, it's right there. I mean, give it a couple minutes and it's going to be down enough to where everything would work. And so I figured I'd start it now to where I could do my walk around. You can see it in this darker light with no big hands in it. You know, sunlight rays. And then it should be dyed down a little bit to do the interior after I show you under the hood. Oh, that's water. I was wondering what that was. I thought it was air. Okay, so interior. Beautiful car. This is your once around to the outside of this video. Maybe you just seen the entire exterior review. If not, you should check it out. Um, and here we go. This car um, does have an issue with the tranny that I show in this video. So, that's that. So, let me think here. Let me think here. Interior. That sun's throwing me off. I just ain't got, it just ain't down enough yet. Because when I open it up, well, that's pretty good. It's just on the inside. You can see on the back headrest there. Um, and like right there, it leaves that big light spot to where you can't see what we're looking at. My camera won't adjust exactly right. So, it's just easier to wait about a couple minutes. And since I got to show you under the hood anyways, hey, and I can show you that I got all kinds of classics here. And I got yards and yards more full of them. Okay, here we go. Let me get this up for you. <laughs> now when you open these hoods, it takes a little finesse on this particular one. Hey Josh, could you help me for a sec? And the little struts are wore out. And I'm going to have him help me actually hold it open on this one. I usually have a little stick that I have in, to put in here, but I'm not going to be that long in there. I figured just to have someone hold it real quick. The motor's in great condition. There's only 89,000 original miles. Um, 89? I believe so. I'll show you that when we get inside. Um, everything is in great shape. You can hear Breeder over there. Hey. I put actually some fluid in it, and I'll explain that when we get to the inside too. Um, I did too. And normally I wouldn't just throw them, but hey, it's what we're doing right now. So I'm just kind of showing you everything here. You could actually pick stuff off all you want, but it is... Here's your sticker there. I'm going to cross over, show you from this side. AC and all. And it is neat to show this for across the pond there in lots of places. Actually, I've done a few of these to um, New Zealand, Australia type area, which is pretty cool. Um, hood insulation still here with all the little plugs. It does have a tear or two here or there. Um, this is getting a little thin. Probably swung a belt up into it or something, or the hose getting hot, I don't know. Um, that's that. Now the light, you know, I'll bet this is one of those years, which is the dumbest thing in the world, where you gotta have your headlights. Did it come on yet? No. How about now? The headlights, but no, not the Okay, so that bulb is out. Some of these in this year, you have to have your headlights on for that to work. So, um, that's that. Okay, these are bad, and that's why Josh is here helping. These motors are either good and they keep going, or they're not. Does that make any sense? If you maintain them and stuff, and you get a one or two owner one, I believe they're pretty good. And I'll tell you what, even the heat shield down here and everything, just a clean, clean car. Thanks, man. Okay, so we'll get on to the interior now. And you can see it's just slightly out of adjustment because then things aren't pushing it back up enough. Okay, interior. All the lights come on and stuff. Door panels look great. Dash and all that. Seats are in good condition. Carpets and stuff and pedals. Look at them pedals. Nowhere, man. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and get in here. 
and start showing. Actually, let's show this seat before we sit down. Yes, sir. Who's we, by the way? It's in great shape, as you can see. And you've got a little bit of the piping is actually, top of the piping is out on that. A little fold over starting there. That's the piping one too. It's all in the piping. Um, this has a little bit of scuff mark type thing. So you got one tear there, one little poke there. So you could replace just that centerpiece if you wanted. I just leave it or get them wool covers. This one over here is in great shape. A little bit of fold over there. It's not ripped, it's just folded over. That is an actual tear or something in it now. None of these are tears, just kind of fold over from sitting there, you know. That one. one is small one, not really going nowhere. Armrest and such. Alright. Do it to it. Okay. Um, there's no antenna button? No, the antenna didn't pop up. So, you know. AC blows. Does not blow ice cold. It's cool. It's not ice cold. No serene. Very clean. Am I in Celsius, I think? I am. Oh, I can do that up here, maybe. Yeah, there we go, that was it. Ha! I was wondering why all of a sudden it was showing 17. I'm like, I ain't got no 17 gallons in here. So here's the deal. Let me turn this down. That light came on lately. I don't know why. I know it. Listen to this. But what I want to show you about that is this. The no charge light comes on. However, once you've let it run a while, watch. Like up there is charging. So I'm thinking the battery's a little dead. One or the other. I'm just being upfront about everything about it. Now your broken mirror over there that I told you about. Out. In. Down. Up. It works. It's just got a little, needs a little $10 mirror. Yeah, I don't know what them are nowadays. Out, in, down, up. It's like the original Robocop. So, windows. Let's see. Yes, sir. about that the light comes up when it yeah it's just low in fact it's got dimmer from just sitting here running and now I bet you I ain't gotta actually when you rub it up it gets brighter and then it'll get less until it goes away okay now I doubt the windows are ever taken down much and they work and I've had them down, but you could grease the tracks or something to where you don't break them out. That's the thing. I, I just don't know how much they've been used, you know? The strong sounding motor, though. That's all they go down halfway. That was years when my mom and dad were buying these caddies. It's like, oh man. Okay, there and there. Crack. The rest of it's beautiful, not even the speaker grill. And they're flush tracks too, so that's nice. And it doesn't come over the lip yet, really. Just a tiny bit there. Okay, digital display on the radio. Don't know what that is. Um, you've got no data here. Because I've reset and we haven't went nowhere. 0, 0.0 is showing, I believe. It's an average is zero. Yes, sir. -y. Okay. Let's go ahead and show you the owner's manual. Sorry.
Not that I think you're reading all that. Oh, it's tucked in there. I'm trying to figure out 84 Seville Owner's Manual. That doesn't go with this car. Who's thinking I've got the wrong one in here? Because I've got the 83 right here. I know this for a fact. I bet you must have got it. You know what? That's out of my 84. I had an 84, a black one. So, whatever. That don't come with it. That's the other one. This comes with it. That's the owner's manual for it. It's in good shape. Um, I'm sure the spine is getting a little older. I don't want to open it too much, but yep, a couple pages came out there. A guy would want to make sure and be careful with it. Maybe even rebind it or something. Scan it. Copy it. Did that light come on? That light came on. What a deal. The clickety clickety trunk latch works. Now let's talk about this over here. Boomity boom. That light comes out. Hanging out. This here got a split on it right there. This here, the foul wood, is just a little bit delaminated. This piece is humped up a bit, and your buttons are delaminating a bit too. I was just doing this the other day, and I locked myself out of a car and I really honestly do not feel like this one's getting locked or unlocked I don't know which way is which now though um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that door to where I don't lock myself out. I locked myself out of the other Seville okay, you should do that trash can is right there on this one okay cool the guy sewed a piece of this, oh, sorry, hang on, of this, over the carpet on this side. It doesn't look that underneath, but he also glued it. It's the original factory Cadillac stuff with the logos, like that. So, whatever. That's what he did. Show you here in the back. Look at this shag, baby. It's beautiful. So are the seats. I don't think there's any kind of damage back here. A little scuff right there. A little scrape across, but it's not all torn. There's that. Package tray. A couple little marks right there. This dryer. This one he must have carried some stuff in. Um, and actually, he's got this here where you can actually bind it back together in there. Yeah, the original straps just need to be retightened. That's exactly what it is. You can just retight. Yep, it needs the straps retightened. That's an easy fix. And I wish I would have done that. Sorry. In fact, I probably will before I do my pictures. At least halfway. Trunk's in great shape. It really is a nice little car. All the carpet and everything is all up in here, even on the hinges, jacking instructions and such. As you can see, this piece kind of pops out a bit, the cardboard, and I got this to where I can hold the trunk up. This spare, tell you what, I don't even think it's been on the road. No way. Little titties all over the top. So that's all there. It's gonna have to start. People are gonna have to start putting these together better for me. Look at that gas tank unlatch. So that's your trunk. It's in great shape. Light and everything is all good. Now this actually goes over this like so, and somewhere in here it gets pushed in here a little differently. However, there is an issue here. with this. Wow, that used to have carpet color sprayed stuff on it. And it's came off to where it's black here now. You can see that. You could all scrape it all off if you wanted. 
So the latching has a problem here on this. Okay, show you on the other side. Ah, I left this open, I remember that now. You know the bad thing is? Okay, I can get in the back. As I say, I don't even know if I can get in the other page. You know, I'm gonna do this right now. There ain't no reason why not. Yeah. Easy fix. But I wish I wasn't doing it in a video while you're sitting here. And I won't find the time to edit this. I'm almost positive. That's my beagle. Tinybeagles.com And actually it pulled this in here like I didn't want it to. That might be the only way to do it. Make this a little quicker for us here, Nate, would you? Ah, ha, ha, I dropped my camera. Well, this just is not what we were looking for. It'd be so much easier to do when you wasn't on the spot like this. I just know no matter what I do here, I don't think I'm going to have enough leverage in here to make it stick very well. That's a little better though. And what that needs is the same thing done here now, or here, where you can pull it up. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, the plastic's down there. Great shape. This thing. We'll put it up right here. Where it looks decent when we take pictures. Wee, wee, wee. Who's we? I don't know. I think the. Oh, that little piece right there. The stuffing. <laughs> stuffing. The wrapping is coming off of headliners in beautiful shape. Beautiful shape. All the plastic around the windows, look at that. Door panels back here, great shape. All this, great shape, great shape. Missing a red light here, easy part to get. It's that one right there. You even replace that. It's okay, baby. It's my dog, tinybeagles.com. And that's the way the carpet should look on the other side. Okay. Um, that's the deal. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. Interior review. You've seen all the dash now that looks great. You've seen under the hood that looks great. Doors open and close nice. This car's nice. That's all there is to say about it. Um, I showed you everything interior, exterior. One owner car guy.com. Can soup.com. And oh, the last thing since we were doing interior. I didn't tell you. The last thing is, not the last thing I told you about it before, how the tranny. Actually, put it in reverse. Sometimes it backs up. But, I just found out there's no fluid in it. My guy tested it and there's no fluid. I know the thing drives great and forward. I mean, however, you don't want to get stuck with no backer. So that is the worst thing on this car. Um, well, I did show you the locks that we weren't exactly sure about. Let me show you the seats here. Back, forward, down, up, tilt forward, tilt back. Now that's what you're getting with one of these. Tilt that on the back, tilt up at the back. All eight ways or whatever. Let's see. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, all eight ways. That's awesome. Okay, well, 
That's that. We've got it done to it. Done to it. Whatever you want to say. Symphony sound, baby. Thanks for watching. That is your Cadillac Seville review. And I'm going to take my interior pictures now. Once more round pictures and call it good. Check out the website, wonderdercarguy.com. We'll talk to you. I want to make sure that everybody knows that this visor material up here is loose and it's got little coals and tears, a couple of them. And he actually put this little thing here. It's like a, it's like that thing. Hang on now. This is just wrong. I gotta show you this. That's all there is to it. This is just what I do to make, to make sure of this. I want to make sure that you see that and that. And that's how he put that together. So, now you know. And this, that clips right back in that hole. It could use some tinkering, and I'm sure, yeah, the way it is, you need to put it to where it's around this stuff, and it would look better. But, a guy could just replace that panel. Well, that's the deal.